Are you a first-time visitor to Amsterdam and unsure of what to expect? It can be very overwhelming to plan a trip to Amsterdam, especially if it's your first time visiting the city. You can find some of our best travel advice for Amsterdam in this video. This guide will not only help you plan a trip to Amsterdam, but it will also help you avoid certain mistakes and have a more memorable travel experience. From when to visit, how long and where to stay, to some key travel advice that will save you time and money. Here are our top 5 tips. Number 1. Prevent the peak season Amsterdam is one of the most visited cities in the world, so wherever you go, expect it to be crowded. Even now, when tourism is only now beginning to recover from the pandemic, Amsterdam is the most visited city in Europe. The city can become very crowded, and excessive tourism is a problem. In truth, Amsterdam has been making efforts to reduce tourism and improve the quality of life for residents. Among other things, the city banned the use of alcohol in public and tour groups from stopping in the main streets of the red light district. Other examples include removing the overly popular I Amsterdam sign from the Rijksmuseum and enforcing strict regulations for those renting out private residences to tourists. Of course, visitors are welcome, but the city should remain entertaining throughout the year for all. Nevertheless, certain times of year are preferable to others, and with careful planning, you may avoid the busiest times and have a much more enjoyable trip to Amsterdam. In addition to the late spring, where everyone travels to visit the Dutch tulip fields, Early fall, around Christmas and other times, the summer is the busiest season. So, attempt to travel to Amsterdam during a low season if you're just beginning to arrange your trip. Avoid the weekends throughout the summer and the weekends near holidays at the very least. If you visit Amsterdam during a less busy period, you'll enjoy it more. Number 2. Book ahead of time to save time and money Amsterdam takes significant planning and preparation in advance due to its popularity. The largest travel expense to Amsterdam is typically lodging. The high cost of hotels in Amsterdam will not decrease now that so many private owners have removed their rooms from Airbnb. So you should book your lodging well in advance if you want to visit Amsterdam without paying a fortune. The greater the options, and hence better pricing, the longer in advance you book. You might find some excellent last-minute deals during the off-peak season, but don't bank on it. In addition, there are a few things you should be aware of before making your Amsterdam hotel reservations. Keep watching the video for tip number 3 for more details. Make sure to purchase Skip the Line tickets for all of Amsterdam's top tourist attractions. Some locations won't allow you to visit at all without reservations. Be sure to secure your tickets in advance if you intend to visit the Anne Frank House. If you're lucky, you might be able to get tickets a week or two in advance during the low season. We advise looking at at least 2-3 to three weeks beforehand. However, if you're travelling to Amsterdam at the busiest time of year, you should be prepared to get tickets to the Anne Frank House as soon as they go on sale, about six weeks before your trip. Pre-Covid, another option was to simply show up at the museum, wait in a very long line, and hope to be admitted. However, the Anne Frank House currently requires online reservations. The most sought-after tickets in Amsterdam are these, and last-minute reservations are virtually impossible. We also strongly advise purchasing Skip the Line tickets for all other popular sites and museums in Amsterdam, especially the Rijksmuseum and the Van Gogh Museum, even if they are not as tough to enter as the Anne Frank House. You may be sure you can see the locations you wish to visit without wasting too much time, which will make your trip much more enjoyable. In fact, tickets to the Van Gogh Museum during the summer can sell out a week or two in advance, not to mention getting to select a time period that works for you. This advice applies to the majority of the city's tourism attractions. Book your tickets in advance if you don't want to spend any time and want to be sure to go. Number 3. Remain in the city centre We advise staying in the city centre despite the high cost of lodging in Amsterdam, especially if you have a few days to spend in Amsterdam and or want to go on some day trips outside the city. The experience of staying in the centre of Amsterdam is important, and being close to everything will reduce the amount of walking you have to do. Staying in the region to the north of the Rijksmuseum, west of Damrak, and southwest of the central station is advised. Most points of interest are within walking distance in this somewhat large region with many hotels. It's easier to be close to the main railway station if you're intending on doing day trips by train because it will save you so much time. Additionally, scheduled tours frequently leave from the central station if you pre-book them. Therefore, bear this in mind as you select a hotel in Amsterdam. Number 4. Allow adequate time Even though two days will allow you to visit the majority of Amsterdam, 
We advise booking a longer stay if you can. You should ideally schedule two to four days for the remainder of the Netherlands in addition to at least two to three days to see the key sites and attractions in Amsterdam. There are a ton more intriguing sites nearby in addition to all the well-known landmarks and attractions in Amsterdam. Don't pass up the opportunity to see at least some of them. In Amsterdam, it's frequently so busy everywhere that trying to see it all might be exhausting. Give yourself some time to explore a little bit off the beaten route, go for a drink at a neighborhood cafe, or spend the night exploring the lovely canals. You'll have a far better time and a trip that you'll never forget. Number 5. City cards or passes can help save you money. Consider purchasing the I Amsterdam City Card if you intend to visit numerous attractions in and around Amsterdam, or use public transportation, etc. As is always the case with city cards, purchasing one for a longer period of time than just one day delivers considerably greater value. However, a lot will rely on the sites and activities you've planned. It soon pays off if you want to visit even just a couple of the most well-known museums. Not to mention all the extras that are bundled in, like bike rental, the windmills in Zotus Gons, etc. Once you have the card, you can also download their app, which will make the process of utilizing all of its features much simpler. You can alternatively choose to purchase a single, all-inclusive public transportation pass, good for the duration of your stay, instead of separate passes for each destination you intend to visit. In conclusion, whether you're a first-time traveler or a seasoned explorer, these essential tips will ensure your trip to Amsterdam is nothing short of unforgettable. By strategically planning your visit during off-peak seasons, booking attractions in advance to save time, and immersing yourself in the city's vibrant heart, you'll make the most of your experience. So, embark on your Amsterdam adventure with confidence, knowing that these insights will help you navigate the charming canals, historic sites, and dynamic culture with ease.